meteorologist David Burgett. Plenty of sunshine to help kick off this Memorial Day weekend. And as we get going into this long weekend, we're going to see continue to see some cloud coverage into the forecast really later on this afternoon, but pretty much for this morning, beautiful skies right now, not a cloud in in the sky at all right now. Lots of blue going on. Beautiful sunrise there in Austin. And we're going to continue to see some temperatures at this hour that are going to be a little bit below our normal low that we typically see here towards the end of May. We're going to see about 44 degrees here and we have our feels like temperature at 40. If you're heading outdoors this morning, you probably need to grab that light jacket and before you start to warm up a little bit later. Our wind, our current temperatures across the region are slowly warming into the 50s now along I-35. Still south of I-90 and north of it, we're seeing temperatures into the mid to lower 40s across the area. Our wind speeds though, they're picking up a little bit potentially near Dodge Center into Good Hugh County, but we're going to continue to see those temper those wind speeds at least pick up into the afternoon hours to be around 18 miles per hour later this afternoon around two o'clock. So in addition to this, we do have our clear skies right now, taking a little bit of a wider look across the region. We're going to continue to see some high pressure built into the region before we get some showers in the forecast. We'll continue to see some clear skies before maybe some clouds into the, towards Minneapolis and maybe off to our west will build into the forecast later today. So again, we're going to have those increasing clouds throughout the forecast into the afternoon and evening hours for today. Breezy conditions and then as we get going really throughout this Memorial Day weekend, we'll see that our storm chances and our shower chance for showers return later in the forecast before we see more seasonal temperatures throughout next week. Taking you a closer look now with future track, we're going to continue to have temperatures into the lower mid to lower 40s across the area, warming up to be near seasonal today in Rochester and across the region. Notice though, around five o'clock, we get the chance for some showers in the forecast. I do think will be relatively dry, maybe a few sprinkles there, maybe some light rain along I-35, but I think this will be fighting some drier air. Notice though, we're going to continue to be cloudy throughout the overnight hours and we're going to have our next showers chance return into the forecast here for some rainfall into northeast Iowa for some moderate to heavy portions of rainfall moving across the our viewing area across I-90 really through tomorrow morning and we're going to continue to be drying out later on along uh, I-90 into the afternoon hours here and pretty much before we get some clearer skies for Sunday night into Monday. So again, with this rainfall and the possibility of hearing some rumbles of thunder, I think the heavier portions will be of this rainfall into the northeast Iowa here for maybe an inch to an inch and a half, maybe close to an inch here across portions of I-90 into Olmstead County here. So we'll continue to watch that as we do have another chance for some showers this week and possible storms there on Monday drying out and then Friday, we'll see some showers return to the forecast here. For today, we're continuing to see those seasonal temperatures and some clouds built into the forecast and those breezy conditions. Throughout this Memorial Day weekend, again, we're going to continue to see some showers and possible storms there on Sunday morning and really those stray storms there on Monday there. So in temperatures, will be near 70. But over the course of this week, we'll continue to see some, te some nicer temperatures and sunnier skies there on Wednesday and Thursday. All right, so kind of keep an eye on the on the forecast if you have some plans with those little pockets of rain that are coming in, the pockets of dryness, if you could tune into our weather app. Oh, yeah, just definitely keep your KTC weather app handy, especially as we get going really through tomorrow and Monday for this holiday weekend. All right, thank you, David.